Greetings, YouTube. Dr. Daniel has been waiting patiently for well over a week to have me commentate his Labyrinth of Legends opening. Now, I believe this is 100% exploration. I've only done one path myself, so <laughs> I need to learn what that looks like um, in its own right. But uh, you got to love how it starts out with this epic ending to the final Maestro fight. I've heard people say Maestro, Mastro... I, I, I don't know. How should I pronounce it? We'll, we'll see. But point being, Aegon is striking him down and then allowing himself the opportunity to just be unblockable. Look at that passiveness by the man. And there he goes, going out on a limb to say he won that fight. Of course, it's my channel. The puns are intended. All right, 193 hits, zero received, one successful combo. That is what I call an epic end. And there you go, eight tier two alpha. All of the tier four class catalyst, the five star shards, the generic five star gem, and the hundred class based six stone crystals back when that was a big deal. And getting a four star out of defeating that kind of content did not seem completely unheard of now can you imagine if they threw a four star into like the abyss people would be ticked i also don't know if i've seen that many screenshots okay so we have five five star crystals from this and then who knows maybe something else but he's doing the pet method and i applaud him for that although is he doing the pet method on top of adding a crystal? That's different. Okay. I see you, Dr. Daniel. Got that Labyrinth Ultron profile pick, too. All right, well, here we go. What does he get for all of that work in Labyrinth of Legends? Thank God for Aegon, though. I'm sure out of all the units he spent, he would have spent a heck of a lot more. Had he not had that guy at, what, 565? All right, first five-star is a Havoc. Your boy, Namor, Havoc, or X-23. Talk about the mutant reel of good luck. I really like Havoc. His special three damage still blows my mind every time, no matter how many times I've used it. It always shocks me. Uh, at this point, though, I still think I wouldn't take a six-star to rank two. Or a five star to rank five. Cole and then Drax. Man, I remember the day where Drax was the Mordo Astro Evade Slayer in my alliance. Shout out to Miles Homewood, the OG Drax OP man. Uh, and he, uh, he's just, I mean, he's just okay, you know? Like, he should be better, but he's just okay. I don't think that I um, fear fighting with Drax, but I definitely don't choose him if I can avoid it. All right, Mr. Sinister is the third champion. A pain on defense. I fought with him some on offense, and maybe I just don't know how to use him right, but haven't really had that much fun playing with that champion. In fact, I would prefer Havoc or X-23. Or Namor, though again, no five star or six star Namor, so I am uh, only talking about the four star I use. All right, we have the fourth of five crystals here, and he might just be waiting for this one to spin out, trying to maybe change his luck a little bit. I don't know. We shall see. It appears to be the case. Come on, Dr. Daniel. There you go. We don't want Diablo in this. And Namor. Okay, we'll take Quake. Do you have a Quake? No, you don't. We'll talk about a way to shake up your roster. All right, that is by far the best champion you've opened so far. And that's about the drop rates of what you can expect out of five. Actually, to be honest, it's better than what you can expect out of five. It's pretty much what you can expect out of ten. Now he looks like he's just kind of contemplating what it means to have Quake on his roster. Now, after 
initially wearing off that shock. See what I did there? He uh, put the final crystal on the reel. Well, he had really good luck spinning it out, so my guess is he may uh, choose to continue that trend. After a beyond god tier champ like Quake, you probably expect something pretty mediocre. Maybe a Kingpin. Maybe a Ronin. Maybe a King Groot. Miles Morales, calling your name. Howard the Suck. Man barely has a thing. University of Phoenix. I could go on, but the crystal is slowing down. And we have ourselves another... No, okay. Oh, I have seen so many memes where people think they're getting Blade, and then they realize it's Falcon. It's the first time you open Falcon, though. That's pretty shocking. All right, well, Quake to your roster is certainly a huge improvement. Havoc, I would vote number two. Mr. Sinister, number three. Drax, number four. And Falcon in dead last. And he faded to black, which tells me that this video might be over. So there you have it, YouTube. Um, pretty realistic, but at the same time, better than average. What are your thoughts on this opening? And thank you, Dr. Daniel. Sorry for the delay as always, but I told you I'd get to it eventually. And well, today is eventually.